Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Jude from Happiness and Crafting So today I'm just having a little bit of a play I received some beautiful stamps yesterday that I ordered um, Which is this lovely, they're from Stamperia um, And it's a beautiful bird cage We've got a lovely little corner stamp there and a beautiful bird And I think they are absolutely gorgeous um, So I've been having a play and I've made some lovely um, sort of like ephemera So some beautiful tags um, to pop into my journals um, so I'm going to pop these all in my stash I've got my little butterflies of course on there which I think just works so well um, beautiful um, that's the corner stamp I've just made this into a, like a little pocket popped a big butterfly on there which I think looks really pretty that one I'm going to leave as it is because I think that's a really nice little one to pop into a journal so so simple to do as well there's another little pocket there with the little bird I've got one of my little um, mini embellishments on there um, with some book paper and some little bit of fabric and that down there um, but look they look lovely little bow on there this one's got a little um, what's it called velvet bow I can't think what it's called then this one I've just popped into a little pocket as well um, which I think are beautiful really really lovely so I thought I'd show you I also received this tiny little blending tool as well I ordered these things were in the sale there's a shop um, or it's an online store and it's in Spain um, and it's next day delivery and I have bought from them before and they are absolutely brilliant really really good so you've got two little dobbers like this and they were only a couple of euros um, let's have a look I've also bought some extra little um, the little refills as well so it's from Artist Decor I'll pop a link to their website anyway so if you're in Europe um, it's definitely worth um, having a quick look because they do have a sale on it at the moment um, so I thought these are really cute really really lovely and they're ideal for just they're almost like finger dobbers really um, but they're perfect let me pop that over there so I'm going to show you quickly how what I've been doing I'm going to pop this down here this is just to stamp onto um, here just so it's I could do with getting one of those stamping machiney things so they're all in the right place um, so I'm going to just use this pop that onto here I've got some stays on I'm doing this with stays on um, because I'm going to actually colour the little flowery bits in with the Distress Oxide inks um, just to give it a little bit of colour so let's just stick that I think I've got enough ink on there hold that down perfect that's lovely so all I'm going to do as well is just go around the top I'm going to take this one off pop it on there I need to make some of my little um, laminated pouches now don't I to um, keep my stamps in and get a bit more organised I'm just going to stick that at the top because I think that looks really nice as well stamp that off like that let's pop this out of the way I'm going to use the little dobber like this and just go just go around the edges just like that just to ink up the edges I'm not sure I might sew around these or I might just leave them as they are because I'm not going to back them on anything because um, they're on this lovely card um, so I might just leave it as is um, and I might do a nice sort of like grungy um, vintagey sort of journal I want to do sort of like a pretty one a pretty one which has got all sorts of nice lacy bits in it so that's that like that so then what I've got I use this one which is the worn lipstick just to paint the um, flowers so I've got I've popped a little bit on the side here just like that you only need a tiny bit I'm going to just add a little bit of water to the side of my paintbrush and just take a bit and then I'm just going to just paint it on just on the flowers like that doesn't have to be perfect just to add a little bit of colour just like that obviously you can use different colours 
but I think it just adds a little bit of colour to your um, stamp which looks really pretty and it's sort of like a shabby a nice shabby pink like that and now I'm also going to use this one which is the brushed corduroy now I love this one because here when I've done it it almost turns out blue it sort of gives you a lovely sort of like bluey colour on there when it's oxidised when you add the water to it and I think it looks beautiful really really lovely so I need to have I got a nice lot of this at, for Christmas from Andy um, which I really need to have a play a proper play so I might do some a um, little bit of mixed media tomorrow I might have a a nice little play day get a bit of messy I wonder if you can see can you see when it oxidizes it sort of goes with that gray blue which is lovely that's when you add the water so I'm just going to do a little bit around the bottom here just like this just a little bit of shadow and a little bit of water to it there so I think that looks really really pretty let's just clean that messy bit up so how simple is that so what shall I do on here shall we add a little bow let's add a little bow little seam binding bow on this one I think I haven't used stamps for so long um, properly um, but I did buy a few more as well which I will do I'll be making some stuff with as well and I've got some beautiful um, stencils as well which are lovely so I'm just going to squash that down let's wrinkle it up a little bit more make it a little bit more shabby I'm just going to pop that onto there how pretty is that a little bit of glue Stick that on the top of the bird cage. So the little pink bits on there just pop through the little pink flowers, and I think it looks really, really pretty. So doesn't that look nice? And how simple was that? Really, really quick. Now I've got lots of lovely little tags. I bought some as well. Some little um, what are they called eyelets on here which are different colours. I find it really, really difficult to get these eyelets. Um, so I've got my new crocodile. So I'm starting to use my stuff that Andy bought me from Chris for Christmas, um, which I haven't had time to do really lately. So I'm going to make a hole in here, just in the top like that. Pop one of these lovely little eyelets in. What colour should we have? We have a nice light pink one. Now I need to find a little, some little tubs, little things to put all these in that I got, don't I? So they don't make, so I don't lose them all everywhere. Pop that, oopsie daisy. Pop that in there. Let's make sure I've got it up the right way. we go perfect lovely lovely little tag now what does I need to do now let's have a little bit of this I think at the top Put this through here and through there and there gorgeous look at that beautiful little tag on there and I think they are lovely lovely so I'm going to pop a link I'll pop a link to the shop anyway but these are the gorgeous where's the other one gone whatever I've done with my stamp and it's disappeared I've lost it now 
I don't know but these are lovely I'm going to pop the link down below anyway um, for you um, for these for the for the shop that I got them from but they're absolutely beautiful I also got some of these from Stamperia as well which are some stencils um, so I want to use these in a mixed media canvas or something I fancy doing so I might be doing that tomorrow so there we go guys they are so so lovely so I'm going to carry on and make a few more of these again make them into little um, little bags like that that you can pop into your journal you can pop a little paper clip on top of that one as well and pop it in your journal a few butterflies all sorts of little decorations and just like this so there we go guys I thought I'd share that with you um, I hope you're having a fantastic day um, please do, do stay safe and I will see you soon. Alright, take care. Bye bye.